My name is Yulia Lagadria. I'm based in Munich, Germany, and I've been for three and a half years with Allianz Direct. I joined originally as an IT solution designer, and currently, since April, I'm working as a data analyst, which was long wished for. Data is everywhere, data is everything. You can see it in the real life, like you can analyze, I don't know, the turnover of the milk in your fridge and something like that, <laughs> starting with that. But also professionally, it's a super exciting topic, and I'm very fascinated that I had a chance to join this role. I graduated from uh, Kiev Polytechnic University in 2005. At that time, uh, I would say IT education was pretty theoretical. My knowledge very quickly became outdated. Then I joined a bunch of roles. I worked for Nokia for IKEA. And then when I joined the Alliance, I was a solution designer. The role of solution designer is basically to take the needs from the business side, translate them into the technical side and implement. So it's again, it was like, Checking the configuration, seeing what is missing, and then doing the testing. Through all this time, I couldn't avoid touching the data because, of course, if you are implementing something, you need to understand what is the impact and what is the result. When I joined Allianz three and a half years ago, I didn't know any SQL at all. I, I knew nothing about it. And basically, within the first couple of months, I understood that this is my biggest need. I first took a free course online, some online school, which was basics of the basics. And I used it and it was very helpful and everything. And then I understood I want to go forward. And then in March 2021, I got this wonderful offer from the um, Alliance Data Analytics Academy. And I got so fascinated with the data camp platform because I tried some learnings before, but they were so heavy, so long, so like hours of explanations, very little practical experience. It was so boring. And what is really cool at data camp, this bite-sized videos, it was very helpful for me. Sometimes you just have 20 minutes between two meetings and you think, what can I do useful, which is still not just the beginning. And then you have to cut it in the in between. And like you can watch a few videos and do a couple of exercises and actually move forward with it. It's also very great to have practical exercises. They are very helpful to, to understand the concept. I must admit, I was not always patient. <laughs> Sometimes I'm just like, oh, come on, this is like so obvious. And then you're typing something quickly and submitting and it's not working. You're like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> and I was learning like one SQL course after another, which was like super much useful for me because I immediately applied it in my daily work. I'm not automating tasks, but I'm doing very complex reports. So sometimes it's 20, 30 tables merged together. And of course, if you are more proficient with, with SQL, you can do better things faster. <laughs> Plus for me, I also work with two different notations because we have different databases like a SQL Server. And we also work with Azure Databricks, which is a separate notation of the SQL language. And like knowing the basics, it makes it easier for me to understand how I translate the queries from one system to another. And this is how I came to it. And then I heard that there is a possibility to get certified. And I personally got a super excitement. I cannot say that it's really necessary for my role because my manager trusts me and she knows what I can do. And she always asks me like, can you do it? What do you need to be able to do it? But in this sense, I felt like a personal challenge. I really felt excited. And then I went for the certification. I'm very happy that I passed it. So the course that I selected was Data Analytics Associate and I was super excited. But I'm such type of a person that needs to reach, let's say, a point of no return or to reach a particular threshold of knowledge in my head before I dare or before I say I'm ready. So I first said, now I first have to complete the program. And it was around 40 hours of studies. I think I did it a little bit faster because a few things I really knew already. It gave me several insights. First, I understood I really need to refresh the statistics knowledge. Despite that it's just a theoretical subject, I see how it applies to the real world. And visualization part was amazing. So I think my two favorite parts besides the skill, which I really need, was visualization or all kind of data storytelling any way of representation of the data because that really teaches you how you can talk to people about it like it's great to have a nice report but if you are the only person who can read it what's the use of it i set myself a target i set myself that by end of may i have to apply and make a test and then i applied and i immediately took the theory test because i wanted to have more time for the practice i was like close to the point of panic <laughs> because it was very difficult and it was also time test. In the real life, it's a bit different because you have time to think, 
to rethink, maybe to search for something. But if you have 90 seconds to answer what type of distribution you need to use in this case, you really need to focus. And I passed it. I didn't know if I would. And when I see it, congratulations, you passed your test. I was like, yes. <laughs> and then I took the practice right away. I must say it was easier than I expected because maybe I was better ready than I thought I would be. <laughs> And it was like super fun. I got so excited working with it. I really enjoy solving real business problems. First of all, I discussed it with my team lead. General rule was Friday afternoon I could take for my education. And I did so. And then of course I had to use my private time. It's not always working during the working hours. A person needs to find their own motivation. So if it's just, oh, I have to do it. That's at least for me, it's not working. For me, it was like excitement, challenge, I really felt that would be my achievement, that would be my own accomplishment. And also I understood how it will help me. And I think the most important is to have fun with it. <laughs> like maybe it's also like my approach to life and to education, but if it's boring, then it's not going to work. But if you say, hey, but look, my practice data set is about, I don't know, how many pairs of socks with dinosaurs are sold in the child store. <laughs> so make a little bit of fun with it and enjoy it. and. Yeah, it doesn't have to be boring.